Hi, why yes, that is Bioshock Infinite, and it is playing on a tiny little Windows 8 tablet. I'm Scott Stein, and this is the Razer Edge. What is it? It is a tablet designed for gaming, and it is very versatile. It comes in a variety of different forms. A base 10-inch tablet uh, that is touchscreen. The coolest thing about the Razer Edge are the accessories, and this gamepad that it docks into really turns into something that looks like it escaped E3 but it's going to cost you, this is $249 extra. That's the cost of a regular video game console, ladies and gentlemen, on top of a tablet base price, which can range anywhere from $999 up to $1449 for the unit that we have, which is a Core i7 processor, 256 gigabyte SSD, 8 gigs of RAM, and that NVIDIA G4 640 LE processor, 2 gigabytes. Those are nice specs. They definitely compete with the high end of the Ultrabook market and with a decent laptop, but they're not going to match what you would get on a sort of quad core CPU or higher end NVIDIA graphics, uh, the sort of stuff that comes with the territory that you'd be paying for with this. So you're paying up for the design, but it's a very cool design. Keep in mind though, that this interesting gamepad, which docks nicely and cleanly, is heavy. It's about four pounds for this entire configuration here. So it's not something you're going to want to hold in your hands, although it's kind of comfortable to do that. It's more of a lap gaming system. And uh, hey, you'll impress your friends on the train. The buttons here match what you'd expect on a console. Dual analog pads that click full backlit LED buttons here, uh, analog triggers, shoulder buttons, dual shoulder buttons on each side, um, and vibration feedback. So, you know, soup to nuts, it's got it. Although the layout feels a little bit different than you get on a gaming console, maybe a little shifted to the front. Sometimes it can feel a little bit awkward, but far better than you get on a gaming handheld like a 3DS or a PlayStation Vita. There's also a battery pack, an additional battery pack option inside the gamepad itself, uh, which is good because the battery runs out fast when you're playing games, maybe as only as little as an hour if you're playing with all the game settings ratcheted up. Uh, so put in that slice battery, which costs extra again, and you're going to be able to boost up your gameplay a little bit. The tablet has decent specs, similar to a Surface Pro in terms of a four-hour-ish battery life, um, enough to get uh, your work done, but uh, nothing that's going to not you know blow you away in terms of battery performance in the tablet landscape. Who is this for? Clearly gamers. This is a gaming device. You gotta credit Razer here because no one's entered this landscape yet. Nobody's come up with this type of versatile solution to gaming. And you are really kind of paying for that design and that concept more than you're paying for something that is a top of the line performance product. Although what's nice is that this all works as advertised. There's no any special software or, or features that you're waiting to be unveiled later. Everything plugs in and goes. It worked with Steam, it works with Origin, uh, you know, and then the controller buttons map very nicely. And if you don't like that, again, you can use the touch screen, you can use a mouse or a keyboard. You could even set this thing up like a little PC in the corner, and a lot of the games look pretty nice just looking at this 1366 by 768 screen. Uh, but keep in mind, that's not a great resolution compared to other ones you get in this landscape. The Surface Pro has a 1080p screen, uh, so other uh, tablets at this point are really ratcheting up the, uh, the resolution, and this lacks a few extra features that you do see in those. Um, there is no SD card slot in here, and there is also no rear camera, although I don't know if you want to take pictures with this thing. There is a single USB 3.0 port right up here. Now, if you connect the dock, you get three more USB 3.0 ports, which covers your bases. There is no built-in HDMI on the tablet itself. You'll need the dock for that, and it connects via the same pin port that this gamepad controller and the charger pop into. And connecting this gamepad is really not so bad. There are latches on the bottom, so you pop it out here, and then you detach it, and that's it. Um, once it's in, it's pretty solid. It doesn't like to detach. You load it in the top, you put it in, you snap it in. It gives you a little bit of a vibrational feedback to tell you that it's locked and it won't fall out. And, um, you know, actually feels kind of nice and sturdy to hold. Next gen consoles may be around the corner and there's a lot more to come this year. Where will the Razer Edge fit in? This kind of feels like the future of PC gaming and the fact that it can work just as well on your TV or in your hands or with a keyboard and mouse is a great sign of where PCs could go. The question is, will the Razer Edge be the ultimate product in that territory or will there be stuff coming down the road that might even beat it at its own game? 
We'll have to see. But if you want something that does for gaming what the Surface Pro does for computing, well, take a look at the Razer Edge and be ready to pay up. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the Razer Edge Windows 8 gaming tablet.